In this session we shall see the design of airport project with uniform cross-section applied from start to end of the alignment, pavement design, and airport planning. As the main screen opens use file menu to select set working folder. Next, select folder work located on the desktop. Select menu item file, then new slash open project workspace and then new slash open airport project. Design runway or taxiway. Create project. As the workspace opens, the current selected tab is Create Project, selected survey data type is Total Station. For processing users data user needs to click on button Create Project under New Project, the new project is created as Design Job Number 01 inside the project folder created inside the working folder as Work, Airport Design Projects, Design Job Number 01. Next user needs to click on button browse to select the user's total station survey data file, after selecting a copy of the file will be brought into project folder design job number 1 to process. For processing tutorial example data user needs to click on button open tutorial example data, the new project is created as tutorial airport runway design inside the project folder created inside the working folder as work, airport design projects. Tutorial Airport Runway Design, here user need not click on button browse as a copy of the total station survey data file survey.txt and also the project data file.txt will be brought into project folder Tutorial Airport Runway. Design to Process Under New Project the survey data file is shown with the path. Ground Modeling the data in the total station survey data file must be made available in the following format and saved as a text file, for example survey .txt, which can be opened in notepad. It has five columns of data, when a data record with serial number 0 is met then it discontinues the last feature and reads a new feature in the ground model. The above data may be either in surveyor's transverse marketer, TM, coordinates or in universal transverse marketer, UTM, coordinates. If the data is in TM coordinates then these are to be converted into UTM coordinates by using GPS UTM coordinates on points with TM coordinates. Next, select the tab Process Survey Data, under this tab another tab Ground Modeling is opened. No check mark is put for option UTM, Universal Transverse Marketer, Data Conversion. Click on button Create Ground Model. The message comes, click on button OK. The names of all the survey features are listed in left bottom panel of the project workspace, as shown. We click in the color box of a feature, and we select the desired color for each feature, click on button apply and the color is set for the feature. User can remove the check mark from a feature, if we want to deselect the feature, to exclude it from the drawing of the ground model. Next. Click on button draw at the bottom of the left panel of the workspace. By digital mapping the features are drawn with the selected color, on right side CAD window, we can save the drawing of the ground model either as DWG or DXF, but in unauthorized version any saving of drawing file is not possible. Triangulation Select tab Triangulation, select all the survey features by clicking on button Select All, Next. Click on button Create Triangulation Model, the dialog box comes to start the process, click on button Proceed to process for triangulation. As the process is over the message comes, click on button OK. The files hds001.fil, hds000.fil and contour.fil are created in the project folder. Contours. Select Tab Contour. The model name, string label, and increments for primary, secondary and text are set with default names and values. If the ground is of flat nature then user has to reduce the primary contour increment as 0.1 or 0.2 to get contours for the relatively flat ground. The secondary contour increment is always 5 times of increment of the primary contours. Texts for contour elevations are displayed on the secondary contours. Click on button Create Contour Model, the dialog box comes to start the process, click on button Run. As the contour window opens, Primary C001, 
secondary C005 and elevation text ELEV strings under model contour are created. Click on button Save, located at the top bar. As the contours are created and displayed, select yellow color icon for contour from bottom bar of the screen as shown and click on button Quit to close the contour window. Next, we are back to the workspace once again, click on button Draw Contour Model, to draw the contour model and the contours are displayed. Design of horizontal alignment of the control line of runway or taxiway. Next, select the tab Runway. The page for step 4 is opened for horizontal alignment, the option Process Halen Design Data is selected, the data is displayed in the data panel, user may paste any other data here, click on button Proceed, as the process dialog box comes click on button Proceed, as the process is over message comes, click on buttons OK and Finish. Next, click on buttons View Halen Design and Shenage On. The alignment string M001 under Model Design will be displayed with Shenage's and details of intersection points. Use the icon on right top and and click on two diagonally opposite corners around the alignment for zoom in enlarged view. The alignment is in a zoom in view as shown. Select and apply cross-section type for runway or taxiway. Next select step 5 to apply the selected cross-section. Select typical cross-section type TCS01 for applying uniformly all along the full length of the road. Click on button Save Schedule Data. The dimensions related to width, shoulder cross slope etc are to be defined in step 7. Create and draw existing ground long section. Next, select the page for step 6 for design of vertical profile, click on button create ground long section, as the process dialog box comes click on button proceed, next, the program will pick the ground elevations from triangulation file hds 001fil by following the horizontal alignment of the control line and will be saved in the model files as string E001 under model design, as the process is over the message comes, click on button OK. Next, click on buttons draw ground long section. Once the ground long section is drawn, click on button Grid On, the grids with Shenage and elevations will be displayed. Design a vertical profile of the control line. The option Process via Line Design Data is selected, the data is displayed in the data panel, user may paste any other data here, click on button Proceed, as the process dialog box comes click on button Proceed, as the process is over message comes. Click on buttons OK and Finish. Next, click on buttons Draw Vertical Profile and Vertical Details on, 
the vertical profile of alignment string M001 under model design will be displayed with shenages, elevations, and details of vertical intersection points. Design of cross section. Select the page step 7 and under this page select the page define cross section, this are the cross section offset data for the tutorial project, do not change any value here, user can define the data relevant to the project under design, the distances and height slash fall with respect to the reference string is mentioned as per the various construction platforms to be developed by grading. Under the step 7 select the page interface, this are the data for side slopes for the tutorial project. Do not change any value here, user can define the data relevant to the project under design. Under the step 7 select the page create cross section, click on button process cross section data, the batch process dialog box comes with three processes as shown, click on button proceed, all the three processes will be run one after another. As the process dialog box comes click on button proceed, as the process is over the message will come click on buttons ok and finish. Repeat this for each of the three processes. The offset data, XSEC data, and interface data will be processed and the cross sections will be developed for final graded for construction platforms. As all the three processes are over click on button finish. The dialog box comes with list of strings, click on button draw strings. The strings are drawn over the contour model. Next, click on button create cross section drawings. The site cross sections are drawn with existing ground sections, proposed cross sections for construction platform along with a road proposed to be constructed on the proposed graded land. Define and process pavement construction layers. Select tab step 8 to define pavement layers on the left and right carriageways of the main road and may be in the service roads. Select each cross section type schedule one after another load default data. Make necessary modifications if desired and click on button save. Finally click on button finish. Next, click on button process data to create the pavement layers in the road cross sections. Quantity estimation for earthwork in cut and fill and pavement layers. Select tab page for step 9 to compute earthwork for cut and fill as the result of grading of the original uneven ground to construct leveled platforms with roads, drains, clops etc. Click on button process data, the data is displayed in the data box in left side panel of the project workspace. The process dialog box comes, click on button proceed, as the process is over the message comes, click on buttons ok and finish. The volume report is displayed here for viewing by the user.
construction drawings for plan, profile and cross sections. In tab page step 10 the page for plan to create plan drawings for proposed leveled and graded ground platforms for various construction purposes. Click on button process data, as the process dialog box comes click on button proceed, as the process is over the message comes to inform about the output drawings, click on buttons OK and finish. Under tab page step 10 select profile to create vertical profile drawings for proposed leveled and graded ground platforms along the vertical profile of the proposed control line. Click on button process data, as the process dialog box comes click on button proceed, as the process is over the message comes to inform about the output drawings, click on buttons OK and finish. Under tab page step 10 select cross section to create cross section drawings for proposed leveled and graded ground platforms along the proposed control line. Click on button process data, as the process dialog box comes click on button proceed. As the process is over the message comes to inform about the output drawings, click on buttons OK and finish. Design Reports and Drawings Select tab page step 11 and click on button create slash update project data file. The project data file will be opened and displayed as shown below. The message comes, click on buttons OK. Next click on button view drawings. The heads CAD viewer opens with all plan, profile and cross section drawings. Select a drawing from the list on the left side, the selected drawing will be displayed. User may save any drawing as DXF or DWG file and may print the drawings for construction purposes. The vertical profile drawing of the runway slash taxiway. The cross section drawing of the runway slash taxiway. The enlarged view of a particular cross section of the runway slash taxiway in the drawing. Next, user may click on button Airport Master Plan Layout Drawing to view the sample drawing for Airport Master Plan Layout. Airport Master Plan Layout Below is the sample drawing for Airport Master Plan Layout and is to be prepared and finalized before the detail engineering design for a new airport project or for the extension of an existing airport project.
This is the end of the session for processing of ground survey data and runway, or taxiway, designed by computing earthwork volumes for cut and fill and construction drawings for plan, profile, and cross sections. Pavement Design Analysis of Layered Pavement System Select the tab Pavement Design, the left side vertical tab Layered System, select total number of layers as 4, topmost layer is combiningly for all bound layers, asphalt slash bituminous concrete, DBM, BM etc., next lower layer is for all unbound layers, WMM, next lower layer is for granular sub-base layer, GSB, next and last layer is always the subgrade layer. For each layer thickness, elastic modulus, Poisson's ratio are to be given. For subgrade no thickness is to be given. The wheel load and tire pressure are to given in kilonewton and newton per square millimeter, MPA. Click on button proceed, the process dialog box comes with user's input data written in blue color. Click on button process, the analysis results will be written in red color. Click on button finish, the message comes informing about the analysis report, click on button OK. Next, the analysis report is opened for viewing and printing. Design of flexible pavement. Select the left side vertical tab flexible, window opens with various default design data for design of flexible pavement by Oshto method, the design life is 20 years in two stages, each of 10 years. User may modify the data as desired. Click on button proceed. The window comes with the nomograph and the Oshto equation for structural number SNO for the design of initial pavement structure for first 10 years of the first stage, the equation 3.1 is to be solved by trial and error to get same values on left and right hand sides of the equation, for the example data value on left hand side of equation as 6.643, enter value of SNO as 4.65, click on button try, this gives value on right hand side of the equation as 6.64, and is OK. Click on button next. The window comes with the nomograph, and the Oshto equation for structural number SNO for the design of pavement overlay for next 10 years of the second stage, the equation 3.1 is to be solved by trial and error to get same values on left and right hand sides of the equation, for the example data value on left hand side of equation as 6.8325, Enter value of SNO as 4.95, click on button try, this gives value on right hand side of the equation as 6.8312, and is OK, click on button, next. Next, the figure 5.15 comes, where for the example data, for value of SNO as 4.65 and for value of PT, 
terminal serviceability, as 2.50, the value of RLX is obtained from the figure as 38, this is entered in the data box. Click on button next. Next, the figure 5.17 comes, where for the example data, for value of RLX as 38 and for calculated value of RLY as 39.8244, the value of FRL is obtained from the figure as 0.68, this is entered in the data box, click on button next. Next, the figure 5.13 comes, where for the example data, for value of RLX as 38, The value of CX is obtained from the figure as 0.85, this is entered in the data box, click on button finish. The message comes informing about the design report, click on button OK. The design report is opened in notepad for viewing and printing. Next, user has to close the report. Design of rigid pavement. The rigid concrete pavement design may be done as continuously reinforced concrete pavement, CRCP, and jointed reinforced concrete pavement, JRCP. Select the left side vertical tab rigid, the pavement type is selected as CRCP, the present tab page is pave thick in which the various default design data are given in every data box. User may change the data as desired. Next, select data tab page long bars where the data are given for longitudinal bars. User may change the data values as desired. Next, select data tab page trans bars where the data are given for transverse bars. User may change the data values as desired. Next, select data tab page tie bars where the data are given for tie bars. User may change the data values as desired. Next, select data tab page dowel bars where the data are given for dowel bars, user may change the data values as desired, finally, click on button proceed. Next, the window opens with the nomograph and equation 3.7, the equation 3.7 is to be solved by trial and error to get same values on left and right hand sides of the equation, for the example data value on left hand side of equation as 7.241. Enter value of trial pavement thickness D as 8.5, click on button try, this gives value on right hand side of the equation as 7.275, and is ok, click on button finish. The message comes informing about the design report, click on button ok. The design report is opened in notepad for viewing and printing. Next, user has to close the report. Design of pavement overlay by using Benkelman beam test data. The design of pavement overlay may be done by using Benkelman rebound deflection data used for evaluation of existing pavement at site. Select the left side vertical tab overlay, the present tab page is pavement overlay design chart 1 in which the design rebound deflection is available against the value of equivalent standard axle load, EEL or ESA when expressed in millions may be called as million standard axle, MSA. The present tab page is pavement overlay design chart 1 in which the design thickness of bituminous macadam, BM, overlay in MM, 
is available against the values of shatteristic deflection values in millimeter finally click on button new design in MS Excel format this will open Excel worksheet for the design the design may be saved with a desired name and may be opened later on by using the button open design in MS Excel format the Excel worksheet is opened for the design the design may be saved with a desired name and may be opened later on by using the button Open Design in MS Excel format. Design of Bituminous Mix Select the left side vertical tab Bituminous Mix Design. In this page, on the left side, the aggregate gratings as obtained at site for four types of aggregates and filler are entered. On the right side, the selected tab is bulk density for the Marshall test, the test values are entered. Next, on the right side, select the tab stability values of the Marshall test, under this tab, another tab test results is opened, in which the stability test data values are entered. On the right side, under the tab stability values of the Marshall test, the tab Correction Factors is selected, in which the values for correction factors as per standard specifications are entered. Next, on the right side, select the tab Flow of the Marshall Test, in this tab the flow test data values are entered. Next, on the right side, select the tab AC Mix Data, in this tab the standard specification data values are entered in respect of selected mix type. The first few lines of data have two values. One is for highway pavements and the another value is for airfield pavements. For example the first line is for thickness TH has two values 40 mm for highway pavements and 40 mm for airfield pavements. Finally click on button proceed, the window is opened for button S1 as shown, the data displayed are for standard specifications for selected mix type. Next, the window is opened for button S2 as shown below. The data displayed are for standard specifications for blended aggregate grading for selected mix type. Next, the window is opened for button S3 as shown below. The data displayed are for aggregate gratings obtained at site for four different types of aggregates and the filler, may be cement or lime. Next, the window is opened for button B as shown below. The percentages for four types of aggregates and the filler are displayed for mixing slash blending each of four different types of aggregates and the filler may be cement or lime. Next, the window is opened for button R for results as shown below, the data displayed are for combined aggregate grading by blending with selected percentages for all the four aggregates and the filler obtained at site. Next, the window is opened for button G for graph plot as shown below, the plots are for lower and upper bounds of the standard specifications for grading of the selected mix type and also for blended combined aggregate grading for construction with selected percentages for all the four aggregates and the filler obtained at site. Click on the icon for save, the dialog box comes, click on button proceed. The message comes informing about the design report, click on button OK. The detail stepwise mix design report is opened with notepad for viewing and printing.
This is the end of the session for pavement analysis and design. Airport planning. Aircraft data. Every airport planning is done by considering the design aircraft which has largest requirements for provisions for its operating compared to other aircrafts proposed to use the airport. To plan for an airport the design engineers need to have the essential details for the design aircraft. Select the tab Airport Planning, and then select tab Aircraft Data. The details may be obtained either from drawing or from Excel worksheet by using the buttons Select Aircraft and Slash or Open Data File. Excel Worksheet with Aircraft Details Wind Data Next, for a new airport the orientation of the runway is to be decided based on the wind data collected over the whole year. Select the tab Wind Data, the direction-wise speed of wind in KMPH, for specified percentage of time during the year is listed as collected for the proposed site. Runway Orientation by Windrows Diagram Next, select the tab Runway Orientation, Click on the buttons Display Wind Data, this will display the Windrows diagram by plotting total percentages of wind speeds and scale in different directions. Next, click on button Runway Strip, to put the representative rectangle on the Windrows diagram. There are controls to rotate the runway strip and to finalize the orientation by considering the wind speed and then obstructions like high-rise structures, mountains etc. The drawing may be saved either as DWG or DXF for all future references. Turning Radius Next, select the tab Turning Radius, the various data in respect of the design aircraft are given, and the turning radius is calculated. The turning radius is important to design alignment of runway, taxiway, rapid exit, apron, turning pad, parking etc. This is the end of the session for airport project with uniform cross-section applied from start to end of the alignment, pavement design, and airport planning.